I'm Ed Fagan, Head of Project Engineering and Design here at Grundon Waste Management. Uh, Grundon's have been around since 1929, uh, collecting waste, processing waste and quarrying all that time. Uh, Grundon's got a strong history of innovation and we're always trying to stay ahead of the market, look for new technologies and anything that's going to allow us to pick more product more efficiently as quickly as possible and that's why we focused on the Zen Robotic. So I think one of the main environmental benefits that we've seen with the Zen Robot is that we are able to pick product more efficiently, um, quicker and more accurately than we would have been without it. Uh, what In this plant, what that's enabled us to do is to pick food grade plastics. So that's uh, particularly in this case, milk bottles and soft drinks bottles. Um, those are now able to be sold as food grade plastic and are therefore able to achieve a higher market value but more importantly, they're able to go back in higher up the waste hierarchy and they'll be used back again as food grade plastic. So at the moment, we've got the Zen robot picking two different grades of plastic. But one of the main benefits of uh, robotics and this machine is that it's able to pick uh, different products as the market changes or as our needs change. And that uh, it comes out of the box with that functionality. Um, but with two or three weeks training, it would really be ready to to, to pick to its optimum. So the Zen Picker uh, has improved safety on the line. It's, uh, it's very well guarded all around the picking operation. And the action of having the Zen Picker picking some of the products not only uh, removes the interface of humans in that particular point, but it also allows the other human pickers on the line to focus on their picking more safely. So I see uh, AI and robotics fitting in with the future of MERS in the very near reality. Um, we've got one of the main benefits of uh, AI and robotics is that they capture lots of information on the belt. That information can then be used and fed back into the next generation of plant so that the plant can tailor itself to the material that's being picked at that time. So we see the future of new plants as having multiple robots and optical sorters all talking to each other through a central brain and allowing the plant to adapt itself according to what it's being fed at that particular moment in time. Zen support through the uh, installation and commissioning was fantastic. The product turned up exactly as planned, beautifully packaged and was installed over a long weekend. Um, the commissioning process was a training session that took probably three weeks, but we were able to run through that process so there was no lost time. Since then, I'm pleased to say it's been running for, for a year. We haven't actually had any major breakdowns, so we haven't had to call on any support. But the routine service parts have, uh, have been sent back to Zen. We've had a service exchange agreement with those, and that's worked really well. From the experience we've had, I would certainly recommend Zen Robotics uh, to other waste management firms or anyone sorting through waste and recyclables. Uh, they've been a fantastic firm to deal with. They've been very efficient. And what's most important to us is that the machine and the individuals involved have delivered exactly what they said they would when they said they would do it.